All right, so guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to establish a proper credit history and even establish credit history when you have no credit history whatsoever. And before I even get into that, because I have a whole bunch of examples that I actually wanna give you so you can actually solve this problem. Before I even get to that, I wanna share with you guys a quick little story, right? There's a whole bunch of people out there that their entire like way into credit and the entire history is actually going to college and getting a loan. That's how I got my first credit card because I already had a bunch of loans from going to college and I got my first credit card and I was literally preyed on by credit card companies because I would receive like credit cards in the mail all the time telling me, Tommy, why don't you sign up, buddy? Why don't you sign up for this, buddy? Why don't you do this, buddy? And coming from college, right? Well, not coming from college, coming from high school where I had no prior knowledge in finances <laughs> and then coming from home where my mom used to take care of me all the time to now having a credit card. Well, let me just tell you what happened was not pretty and it was <laughs> not something I'm proud of, but I used it a lot and I spent it a lot and I paid a lot of interest. Interest. I never made any really late payments or anything like that because my credit on payments is pretty perfect. It's like 100%. But I got hit with a lot of interest because I did not know what I was doing. And I want to make sure that you guys avoid that. And not just for people that's going to college, people that are young, but I even had my mom at one point. People actually told her, hey, why don't you actually go out there, buy something that you don't need, pay back in small payments, pay interest on it, and then that way you have some credit history established. And I even went with her, right, to one of these places and they told us, hey, yeah, it's 100% true. And I said, yeah, can we get a written guarantee that's gonna happen? They say, oh, we, oh we, we can't guarantee anything. We can't guarantee anything. So I figured out a way to actually help my mom, which is an older lady, like in her 40s, actually establish a credit line. I helped my friends, my uncles, all those people establish credit lines, and I helped myself. You know, and that's one of the most important things. And I wish I had this when I was actually starting. So I didn't need to take a loan. I didn't need to buy something I didn't, I didn't need. And I didn't have to be going around, roaming around with just a debit card and no access to credit because it's one of the most important things, okay? So guys, how do we actually do this, right? It's one of the most important questions and that's why you probably came to the video. And it's very simple. Now, we all know that you have no credit history if you're on this video. Maybe you do have a credit history, but it's not that good and you actually wanna build credit, right? But you can't qualify for the credit card that you actually wanna qualify for, right? So what you do is you get a secured credit card. Now, for the longest time, I actually had no idea what that actually meant until I did some heavy research. So, by the way, guys, a secured credit card is basically a credit card that's backed up by something, okay? You imagine this, right? Whenever you get a credit card, it's basically a promise. It's just backed up by your word and basically like the law, if you don't pay back, then they sue you or they send you to collections and then you have to pay or they ruin your credit score. That's basically it. But in reality, if you don't pay back like 100%, then guess what happens? The credit card company just lost their money you lost your reputation, but you didn't really lose any real money, right? So the way that this works, since you have no credit history established, and that's how credit cards companies like test you and see like if you're like credible, what they do is they allow you to get a credit card that's secured by a deposit that you do make on it. So this means that, for example, if I wanna get a, a credit card, right? So it's called a secured credit card. I get a secured credit card and they tell me, well, we're gonna give you $200 credit and you have to put a $200 um, deposit match in it and now you have a $400 credit line, right? At the end of the six months or eight months, they ask you, well, what do you want to do? Do you want your $200 back or do you want us to um, upgrade you to a higher credit line or do you just want us to give you back the money and do you want us to upgrade it to a real credit card? And that way you can just pay us and since we already saw that you make payments on time and you're a very good person, then we don't really care. We'll give you the credit card, right? Sounds good? You're following me? All right, perfect. So now you're probably telling me, Tommy, I get it, right? I got a secured credit card, but what secured credit cards are out there that I can actually get, right? If you just search online, you're gonna come up with a whole bunch of other like solutions, a whole bunch of credit cards out there. But in reality, I don't like most of them because most of them are just taking advantage of people without any credit and they charge you insane amounts of interest. And even when you upgrade the credit card, it's not really a credit card that you actually want in your arsenal, right? And if you get one of these credit cards in the mail, most likely they got your name from somewhere and they send you like this marketing thing and then when you read the terms like they suck the late fees suck everything sucks about it so how do you actually do this okay and i want to talk about it because the main thing i want to make sure guys that you don't have to take out a loan so you can build credit you don't have to buy something you don't need you don't need to go to college none of that stuff i want to make sure that this actually works for you right so the first one i'm going to recommend to you guys is called the capital one secured card now all the links are not going to be down there below because i'm not a sponsored but i am going to get you a link right to go to nerd wallet so you can actually see all of the credit cards and you can actually compare it and actually find out which one you like best and of course at the end of the video i will give you 
the best one, my favorite one. And let's start off with the Capital One one, right? That's the one that I actually got from my mom when she first started out. The Capital One one is very good. So here's the thing with the Capital One credit card, right? There's a little things that are pros and little things that are cons, but in reality, I really like the card. And that's the one I got from my mom. Now, you do need a few things to actually qualify for it. And here's the thing. You need a checking accounts and a savings accounts, even if it's for show. If you don't have any of these things, then why don't you have a checking accounts or, or a savings accounts? Like you need these things in life and you probably need a debit card. If you don't have any of this stuff, maybe you have bad relationships even with banks. Go ahead and get a checking accounts, maybe at TD Bank, um, Chase, um, BOA, um, Citibank, even a credit union, like whatever it is, maybe Vero, one of these online banks, just get yourself a checking account with a router number and a savings account. Also, that way you can actually apply for this card. Now, the reason I like this card is because you can actually start off with a $49 deposit. That means they give you $200, maybe $200, maybe $100, but you get to put down as less as as little as $50 and you actually have a credit card and you can actually use it in a swipe and you can actually build up your credit history like that. So you don't need a ton of money to actually start. Now, another reason I actually like it is that if you don't have, for example, right, if my name is Tommy, which it is, and I need a credit card, which I don't right now, but if I need a credit card and I want to get a credit limit of maybe a thousand and then the credit people are only giving me a hundred dollars or the two hundred dollars and I need eight hundred dollars, I don't need the full amount right away to actually put into the credit card as my deposit. I can start making the deposits in like installment payments so I can put like a hundred this week, a hundred next week, a hundred next week, a hundred next week until I get to the one thousand and then I can actually activate the card and then guess what? I have a thousand dollar credit line and I can use that for whatever I want and it's very good and listen to this guys right after six or five payments of like you know continuous payments on time usually capital one would increase your credit line which is very good but I want you guys to understand what I'm actually saying in this video I'm not saying go out there get this huge credit line and start spending a lot of money that you don't have to spend right because if I told you that then I would have just told you oh just go to money line and get a loan and use that money and then you build your credit card by paying them back right that's not what I'm saying I'm saying use your own money and establish your credit history and don't buy anything that you don't need so use this credit card to buy groceries, to buy gas, to buy whatever you do on a daily, monthly basis, whatever it is, and pay back the card at the end of the month in full so you don't pay any interest. Because all you want to do is establish credit card history, which is very important, okay? The second card I want to talk about is a Discover card. Now, you guys know that I really love Discover. I have my Discover card, and it's actually pink. It's kind of weird, right? But I really like it, and the reason is because they give you a whole bunch of bonuses, right? But you probably can't qualify for one if you don't have any credit history, right? That's why I actually recommend you guys get the Discover It card, right? It's a credit card, but it's secured, right? And the way it actually works, they actually give you cash back on it, right? So you can't afford like a 5% card, but you can't afford a 1% card on all your purchases and also 2% on those like, um, you know, like those um recycling or revolving little like things that they have going on. For example, it's like one month you get like 2% on like groceries, one month you get 2% on gas, one month you get 2% on Amazon, stuff like that, which is very cool. And I really like it because of that. And even though, right, this is my main thing, right? It's a very upgradable card, right? So after those five to six months and you are ready to like upgrade the card, like I said before, well, you actually upgrade to a very good card, which is like a Discover card. Discover cards are very, very good. You get 5% cash back. They're very good with customer service and everything is very great with them. And if you have a Discover credit card, then you can get a Discover savings accounts, check in accounts, whatever you need. And they have an all around good platform and a very good service. So I really do recommend this one. And honestly, it's my favorite one all right i just want to be straightforward with you guys it's my favorite one but i don't want to be biased so i will talk about the rest of them right now now the third one is called a dcu visa secured platinum card right this card is actually very very good for people that have a ton of money but don't have any credit line now you probably tell me, Tommy, what do you mean? You like you have a ton of money, but you don't have a credit card. How is that possible? Well, a lot of people out there are entrepreneurs and they just sell stuff all the time and they have a ton of money in there and whatever they have it and they don't have a credit card. OK, so how do you establish credit history? If you actually use this card, you can actually have no cap towards how much money you can actually put down towards your deposit because places like Capital One or like or like um, Discover, they usually have a limit of like a thousand, maybe twenty five hundred max. But you can go beyond that, like your credit line can be beyond that. But with this card, the DCU one. You can even pull up up to like 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. It doesn't matter, okay? You can put as much money as you want up there and you can actually use the card however you want. And the interest rate is only around 13.75%, which is very, very good. The only catch is, because I already know that you guys are probably wondering, Tommy, it sounds too good to be true. Well, kind of. 
but it isn't, right? The only catch is that you need to be a member of their entire credit union. It's called the Digital Federal Credit Union. And to be a part of the credit union, you need to put a deposit of five hundred dollars. And if you are the mem and if you are the type of person that I think is gonna get this card, maybe five hundred dollars is such a big deal for you. And remember, this money isn't being lost. The money is yours, and you will get it back in six to eight months, right? And when you get it back, you'll get it back, all the money back, and you'll get back. It along with a very good credit history, which is very good. That's the whole goal of it. Okay, so you're not losing money by doing this. Remember that. Okay. Now the last card that I want to mention is called a Citibank card, right? And the only reason I'm really mentioning this card is not my favorite one. I really don't like it. And I think off the entire list is kind of like the, one of the weakest ones. And the reason I kind of like it, well, I don't like it, is because you really need like a a credit history already kind of established to actually even get started into this card because it's very hard to actually get into it. But if you actually get accepted then you can actually use it, I guess. But in reality, I don't really recommend it. And that's the reason why you need it way too high of a credit history establishment. And this video is all about establishing history and how can I establish history and qualify for a card if I have no history. So I don't really recommend it unless every other card rejects you and then you have no choice but to register for this one. And if you get accepted, then you get accepted. So you know, congrats. And guys, also, if you need help, like repairing your credit, you could use like some of these credit cards to actually help you like establish like a good like credit history, like in that way. But in reality, it's not the best way to actually do that. I actually have a video that you can actually look up like how to repair your credit or how to raise your credit score or whatever. I have it in the channel. Just check that one out. And it teaches you how to erase things from your credit score by yourself without having to pay anyone. And you can do that. Okay. So you don't need anyone to pay them like thousands of dollars or anything like that. And you don't need to pay someone to negotiate a deal with you well to negotiate a deal for you on your behalf to have that bank settle with you and then go into your credit score in a negative way you save two thousand dollars but you ruin your credit for the next two to three years you don't want that okay and guys that's really all that i have so make sure you like and leave a comment down below right and let me know if you guys have any more suggestions on videos that i should do i upload every single day so i'm constantly running out of ideas so any comment that you do put down there i probably will make the video and make sure you like right because every time you like i know you like these type of videos and i can actually, and i can actually make more and do more research and make sure you subscribe that's how you keep up to date with everything that I'm actually making because I'm uploading every single day and that's how YouTube tells you like, hey, Tommy just uploaded, so go check that out because it might teach you something. You might get more money. You might earn more money. You might know more knowledge or whatever it is. Okay, I'll see you guys next time on the next video and peace. You've got to start at the bottom if you ever gonna reach the top. You've got to watch all the CG's